Hello everyone, welcome to the new video series of Object DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. I'll be providing the URL for playlist in the video description. Please do watch. Currently, I'm in my test project and let me go to the organization. So these are the various projects available. So let me select my project. Under my project, let me go to project setting. And here if you see, this project is created based upon agile process and you can simply click on this hyperlink to navigate to the agile process or other way of doing it is simply navigate to your organization and go to organization setting under that you will find processes so select this so these are the various four process which is available in azure devops by default and let me click on agile these are the various type of work item which is available with the agile process and at the top you could find system processes cannot be customized so we need to create a copy of this particular agile template and we can customize it so in order to do it just simply click on all processes or you can just simply click on processes from this option and i'm going to create a copy of agile process so let me click on three dot and here you will find an option called as create an inheritor process. Let me provide a name to our new process. Custom Agile. Let me click on create process. And here if you see it got created under Agile. Let me duplicate this tab. Let's get into our newly created process. And you will find the same work item which we saw in the Agile. Because we have created a inheritor process from Agile. The test project which I have shown earlier was created based upon Agile. Let's move that project to this custom Agile process. In order to do that, simply go to all processes. Under that, simply go to Agile and click on project to see what are the projects which is having Agile process. So this is our project. Let me click on three dot and click on change process. And let me select the target process which is custom agile once you select on it if there are any difference between source and target process it will show up an error our both target and source as of now it is similar so it is not showing up any error but at this end of the video i'll be showing a sample where you will be getting error let's save this first it got completed and here let me go to organization and let me click on our project under project setting you will get to see the process got updated now let's start our customization in order to do that let me go to this tab and let me select the process and here you are finding various work item type which is available under a custom agile let me create a new work item type so in order to do that click on new work item type and let me provide a name to the new work item type initiative so this is my new work item name and in case if you wish to provide a description for the work item type you can do so let me change the icon for this work item type so this is the icon which i want for my work item type and you could select the color for your work item type as well so let me select a color and let's create it and a new template it got created and in case if you want to add further fill you can do so we will see that later let's go to our boards first and let me click on new work item and here you could find initiative let me select this and see a new work item type of initiative got created and we have several fields what we see in the template let me go to the template and let me get back to the let me get back to custom agile and here you could find initiative work item type is added in case if you want to edit it you can simply select and make further changes in the work item type now let's click on user story let's customize an existing work item type and so these are the various fields which is available inside user story let me open your new user story so that we can compare and see so let me get back to work item and let me click on new work item user story and here if you could see description acceptance criteria are there 
and similarly in the template as well you could find description and acceptance criteria and you could find planning group as well planning and classification and let me create a new field let's click on new field let me provide a field name and the field name is important notes and here you have various type if you click on this drop down it will list out various types which is available here you could find single line as well as multiple line so what is multiple line so let me go over here here you could find for description and acceptance criteria you could type multiple lines right so that is why multiple line let me go with the single line for this field let me click on options and you can make this field as required as well by just selecting it i don't want my field as required so i'm just leaving it and next is layout so you can decide where you want to place the particular field and the page is showing as details which we'll see it later what is page and all and down below if you see you could find existing group so here we need to select existing group or we can create a new group from here itself i'm going with the existing group so under this if you see you could find two groups classification as well as planning so what are these two and let me go to the user story so this is the planning group which we saw in the drop down and the other one is classification so this is an another group we are going to create the field under this classification group only and and what are the item you see description acceptance criteria so all these were under details page and this is history page so these are various page in case if you create one more page it will appear right here so we are currently in details page so let me go over here so we have selected page as details and the group as classification so let me add a field and the field got created in the template so under classification it is there so let me create a new user story let me discard it and here you could find the newly created field which is in single line now let's get back to our template before we proceed i like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so i request you to subscribe and super thanks is now enabled on our channel in case if you wish to contribute i would really appreciate it now let's create one more new field and let me name it as urgency and this time let's go with a new type which is pick list string and here in case if you wish to provide a description you can do so and here you could add values for your pick list so let me add a value not urgent and click on add a value let me provide an another value urgent and let me click on add a value very urgent and let me go to options so i am going to leave this record as it is and i am going to assign a default value as not urgent so whenever we are creating a new user story the default value will be not urgent and under layout i am going to change it under planning so let's add a field let me quickly create a new user story and here you could find urgency as a drop down so this is what we call as pick list and you can change a urgency and you can save it and in the template if i want to move this field to top you can simply just move like this and in case if you want to remove this particular field you can do so or in case if you just want to hide it you can simply select this let's try to add a new group itself under here so in order to do it let me click on new group and let me name the group group info those so this is the name i want to give it to my group and i'm going to leave pages as detail itself and whether you want this group to be at the left end middle or at the right end you can select from here so i'm going to leave it as left end so let me add the group and it got created as of now there is no field for this particular group we need to add fields under here let me add a new field and let me provide a name to the field business owner so 
I am going to mention the email ID of the business owner for this particular user story and from the drop down select identity which means you can provide the identity of the particular user over here and options I don't have anything to specify and let's go to layout under layout just leave the group as business info itself and let's add a field now let me quickly create a new user story and here you could find business owner under business info and if you tap this you can select the identity of the particular user from here and only the users added to this organization will be showing up over here so let me select one owner and you can save it now let's get back to our template and this time let's talk about pages so here we have added all the fields under details only now let's create one more page so now to do it just click on new page and let me provide a name to the new page deployment checklist and let me add a page and it is currently empty and if you go back to details you could find the other fields which we have edited so far and now let's get back to the new page under this page let's quickly add some new fields i'm going to fast forward this content to save some time the first field name is cr number and this is of type integer and the second field name is cr approved and this is going to be yes or no which means boolean and the next field is deployment date and this is of type date and time and if you see this the ribbon is currently under the name custom so let me edit the name of this particular ribbon checklist so now let's quickly create a new user and here you could find a new page called as deployment checklist and you could provide the CR number over here and you could use this boolean button to say whether CR is approved or not and deployment date and time you could just select a date and you could select the time as well and let me get back to our template and now in case if you want to add additional fields you can do so for this page we have covered most of the options under layout states rules i'll be covering it in a separate video i'm going to change an existing project to follow this particular process before that let me create a new work item type of initiative to show what kind of error we may get so in order to do it let me create an initiative and for the initiative i have provided a title let me save it this process is following customizable and it is having a type initiative what if, if i change the process of this project to a process which doesn't have initiative what will happen let's see to the project first and project setting under that you will find processes so go to project and let me click on three dot change process and if i select agile back and i will get error here i have two option one either deleting the all the work item of type initiative or changing all the work item type from initiative to user story so these are the two alternatives which i have and that's it on this video in next video we will see about states and rules we have a lot of concepts to cover i request you to hit the bell icon then only you will get a notification whenever i'm uploading new videos i'll be providing the whatsapp and telegram channel url in the video description please do join follow me on linkedin to stay connected thank you bye bye